Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, this is Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for the last day of June 2009. Billy Mays, he sold us OxyClean, he sold us Kaboom, and don't tell me you didn't get tempted to buy some Orange Glow. He sold like nobody else could. Well, he passed away in his sleep uh, Saturday night, sometime early Sunday morning when his wife found him dead in his bed. Originally, people were speculating that that bad bump he took to his head on a rough airline landing the day before might have caused his death. But authorities say an official or a preliminary autopsy report, I should say, uh, shows that Billy died of heart disease and not any head trauma. Now, leaving The Sopranos to star in that Friends spinoff, Joey, maybe not the smartest career move Drea DeMatteo ever made, but it looks like she might be getting things back on track because she's just signed on to star in Desperate Housewives. She will play a wife of a landscaper and the mom of a high-strung son that I'm sure will hook up with somebody's daughter, don't you think? Now, John and Kate Goslin announced they're no longer going to be making any public statements about the status of their relationship, their divorce. They're not even going to comment publicly or react to any media stories about them. They're going to focus solely on the kids right now. So all we do know for now is that both of them are taking turns living at their home in Pennsylvania with the kids, just, you know, staying somewhere else when they're not there. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio visiting a Japanese temple in Kyoto, and a couple of fans came up to him and said, you know, can we please have our picture taken with you? And he shooed them away after pointing to a sign saying that there would be no photographs allowed on holy ground like that. So what the fans did was just they waited around, watched Leo take off his Nikes and leave them at the door because you're not allowed to wear shoes inside the temple, and they stole his shoes and ran away, so he had to walk out of there barefoot. Investigators with the L.A. County Coroner's Office and detectives with the LAPD were back at Michael Jackson's rented home yesterday, gathering evidence in their ongoing investigation into his death. There have been two autopsy reports, and initially they showed that his death was not caused by a drug overdose, even though there was prescription medication in his system. There has been speculation a lethal dose of Demerol may have led to his death, but it's going to take several weeks before those toxicology reports come out. In the meantime, since we got off the air, huge breaking news all over the Internet about the children, Michael Jackson's children. Debbie Rowe, not the biological mother. She was merely a surrogate for an egg donor. And Michael Jackson, not the biological father. They, uh, a couple of the sites are reporting that his dermatologist, who Debbie Rowe worked for, was the sperm donor for at least two of the three children. And so, what, what next? They said Michael never bothered to go through the legalities of adopting the children as his own. But I'm sure any court would, would uh, say that, the, that they are legally his children, don't you think? I don't know how this is going to play out. It's going to get crazier before it gets back to reality here. And that's your show, This Top 5.